Yeah, Joyce, I know we need some more money so we can get back in the studio. I got it. We've got a tour coming up. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. This is episode seven, I believe. I hope it's seven. If not, I'm off a number, but I think it's episode seven. Uh, we're playing Rockstar 2, and we are with Celtic Lipstick. Uh, in the early going, we're still November 1st of the first year, uh, so it's been a couple of months since uh, last episode ended, and haven't got a record deal yet. We've recorded a couple of songs. I think I got three more songs recorded, and uh, we are getting ready to start a uh, two-week tour, just trying to raise some money. You can see we're down to $6,200 in band cash. I need to get a little more aggressive in uh, buying instruments and fixing them up and selling them. I've kind of gotten out of the habit of that because of my other playthrough. Once you get to a certain point, you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, so, yeah, um, but we're still up and coming. So let's get started. I hope that's recording fine. Let me move the mic a little bit closer. There we go. All right. So uh, don't forget, if you like what's going on here on the channel, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated, guys. Uh, let's take a look real quick at our song list and sort them by quality. Uh, I have been recording a couple of these songs up here. Um, the higher the recording level, the better it's going to sell on an album. Now, on your first couple of record deals, it's only going to require a recording level of 40 or better on two songs. So you can go much cheaper. And as you can see, we have a couple down here in the 30s. These are the ones that I recorded in the studio with our production level. And our person doing production is... Colby, and he's got a production level of 55. Uh, so the ones that have a 55 that Colby produced are the ones down at in that 30 level here. And then you can see we jump up into this basically at 70, which is the max that I can get right now. Uh, that's the highest level producer that we hired. And what that means is instead of paying fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars a song to record, we're paying about five grand per song to record. So it is costing us a lot more money. Uh, hopefully that translates to more sales. Uh, and this is something in my other playthrough that I've been doing, and it has resulted in higher sales. So we'll give that a shot here with uh, with this save. Uh, what else is going on? Let's take a look. Murrin, of course, our character, level 23. We're basically maxed out on stage presence with the bonuses we get from gear. Uh, we're up to 75 in playing, and I'm working on writing music for her. Uh, everybody's just about maxed out on repair. Uh, you can see uh, lyrics are at 53. We're building up the playing and the stage presence for our bass player. Uh, Marty, our lead vocalist, working on the music for him, playing and stage presence as secondary attributes. Joyce, our drummer and our uh, business manager, I guess, uh, working on playing and stage presence only. And then once we get those to the level we want, we'll start bringing up the music level for her. And we have production at 55 we want to continue to build that we want to get that up to 100 uh, that allows us to max out the uh, combining of the of the song ideas uh with 100 points capable instead of just uh you know right now it's 55 and then we're working on presence and playing for him as well i want to get joyce's business up a little bit in the mix and i've decided so right now we have lyrics from Allison. And then uh, Marty is our main music writer, but we are going to build up Murrin to help out with the music as the guitarist. And I would like to get a third person uh, built up in music as well. I just don't know who it's going to be. Um, but anyway, we will deal with that. 
uh, taking a look at the schedule here, uh, we did finish off uh, these gigs here. Uh, we just finished our tour yesterday uh, with... Uh, All right, we just had a light flicker. I do have bad weather, and y'all might actually be picking up some audio outside from that. And if you are, I apologize, but uh, the rain is coming down. Hopefully, the uh, power doesn't go out. If uh, if it does, then this is going to be a short-lived episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're uh, we're in Chattanooga, uh, kicking off uh, Choo Choo with Trains tour. Uh, this uh, the band is uh, is I forget the name of the band. Uh, grizzled trains they're the hot they're the headliner we're the opening act and again this is just a two-week run trying to build up some money uh, and then we'll go back home i'll try to get back in the habit of uh, repairing instruments to build up our band cash uh, and move on from there uh, one thing and i'll show it to you i'll show it to you after one of the things that's so nice is when you start rolling in the money you can take the chauffeur by hitting the C button or clicking the chauffeur. It costs a hundred dollars, but it'll bring you right to the uh, to the place you're going to, even if it's another city. Oh, and it is so nice. All right. One thing uh, we we were we did have. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm at a loss for the word now. So we, we're, we're not at high energy. Oh, there is a low energy. So we were at high energy uh, where we could only play two songs at the uh, beginning of our set, two high energy songs uh, before burying that needle. Uh, now we are not in a high energy. So we're back to doing three. Uh, let me sort here. So we're playing a couple of two tracks. And you notice we have a lot of low uh, interest. These are going to drag down, but we, you know most of our song uh, discography is uh, of not uh, a, a negative attitude. God, get your words, get your words. Uh, so we do kind of have to deal with that a little bit. Um, I'm wondering. I'm wondering. All right, let's clear this set list. So we're going to go with Sean's process. And then at this point, it, that's the only high energy song that we have that is has a, at least a neutral attitude. So at this point, we're just going to have to go in and, and hope that our stage presence and the quality of the song pulls, pulls us out here, uh, is all I can say. Uh, let's do that, and then we'll do this one. And this one. And then we'll go with that. And... All right. So if you watch if you watch the levels once we start the gig when we hit this these these negative attitude songs they're not going to get the bang for the buck but I don't have any option here. So you know this is where we just have to start writing new songs uh expanding our song list and going from there. All right. Uh, I haven't moved my uh, picture here on the screen to to right here in the middle. Uh, more in the middle to where it's not blocking any of the stuff in the in the view. All right, and we're gonna be up over eighty, so that's that's okay. We had one hundred and twenty one fans in attendance. We're still giving away our shirts. And if we look at our set list, you know we had a lot of two and three face. These are good, but you can see they weren't relating with the attitude. But the good stage presence and the high song quality helped out. Um, yeah, it's all we can do. All we can do. We have a level up for Colby. Uh, so let's toss him another point in production. Actually, um, let's go ahead and give him two. And then we'll do a stage presence. 
playing and I'm making him our second lyricist. Um, won't be looking for a lot out of him. What happened here? Stage presence. Okay. I guess I just didn't click it right. All right. Here's the shortcut. So every video before this one, at this point, we are leaving the city, right? Well, let's click on the map and we know we're going to Decatur. I can just click on there and it brings us to the edge of the map and drives us off automatically. So very, very good. Uh, tonight we have a night off. So I don't really want to go record anything. So we're going to go ahead and stay in a motel. And I want to check, all right, we're at 68. So let's go ahead and trash a few things. This is going to cost us some money, but that gets us our bonus. We get 50 new song ideas, and you can see the 59 points here. So let's go ahead and roll through this. See if we got any new pieces that we can combine. There's a couple of partying. A couple more partying. And right now, I really want to stay away, so that's a good chance to get rid of a technology. Consumerism, that's a neutral, so we'll go ahead and keep that because I had a couple of parting that we already did. And we're down to 17, so let me run down here into the melodies. Nothing there, so we'll come back up and run through. There's a depression. Hometown pride, that's a new one for us. Uh, as is consumerism, let's take out a depression with that. Take nature as a positive and outer space as another positive. We still have seven points, but oh, we have a 15 here. I didn't see that one. We'll have to do that another night. This one has 14 days, so that's okay. Uh, let's check something here. So our average song quality is at 60 right now. So once you get to a certain point, that's kind of what you want to shoot for. So let's see if I go with a 10, because that's about to expire. Then I can do a 20 here. And I can do a 10 and a 6. That's a 46. That doesn't help me. Any. Um, what if I get rid of the 20? Hmm. All right, let's do away with that one. What if I use a, oh, hold on, which one? Okay, I was thinking about using this one, but I want to consume, I want to use that to max that out. So let's look at this 15 here. And I can use this 15, that 15, and that 15. And that gets me up to a 60. So then I can pull these three out. And then we can add in this 15. So we keep that. Then I can do this 10 in case something comes up with that. And then I've got another, I've got a 15 here, but that has 14 days left. So let me save this 10 that only has a day. We'll do that. Now, this is a 60 and it is a positive song. I think what we want is to make that a high, but let me double check. Honestly, I could use I could use pretty much anything, but yeah, it looks like most of my high energy songs are negative attitudes right now. So let's leave that as a high. This one is a partying song. And I'm just one of the things I've kind of started doing is trying to just use the existing song titles and shorten them up. 
So her boy, Murren, or who, uh, let's see, Allison wrote this song. So it's her boy, and it's about partying with him. So we'll write that song out. And we are already in Decatur for our gig. Right there. We are the open, middle band in a three band set. Always just double checking to make sure nothing has changed. So everything's pretty much the same. Now you can, oh, and this, oh, we have actually changed because we're in Alabama. So this is good. Uh, one thing you can do is we could add her boy into the set. So if you're doing a nine or a 12 song set and you, you can see that you're getting to the 100% audience interest, don't be afraid to toss one of these song, new songs in. It'll get a it'll get a very low reaction, but you will actually gain a few points. And it's it's not as much as practicing it at your home studio, but you can get you know about five five points maybe uh, in just from playing it. And so you can build up a song like that, especially if you're in the middle of a of a long tour but when you do that i always recommend or at least i think schedule you like a week to two weeks off i usually do like two i'll do a two-week tour take like three or four days off to rest up and we'll do it in a hotel or whatever do another two to three week tour on the tail of that and then take like two weeks off where you can go home Write, write songs because you're going to be building up uh, ideas during that, you know, during your tour. Um, go home, write some songs, record some songs, practice the songs, and then go to the studio and record them as well. All right, let's get our set here. So we're going to start off with I Attend Prices, um, Glorious Rat from the Sapphire Mists. Then we'll bring in uh, He Mumbles a Harbor, Dollar Desperation, and Sean's Process Out Speaks. Then we'll bring in Frostbite. You know what? Let's bring in the Observation Point just because it's a positive, or at least a neutral. And... Everything else is negative. So at this point, uh, let me bring in Eddie, I guess. Actually, uh, I appear the pocket protector. Let's do that one because it's our highest popularity. Now, if I can, this is where I would say is if we get down to frost point and observation point and we're at 100% interest, then maybe I drop that and we bring in her boy as a positive attitude, even though we're going to get dinged on the low playing skill we can start building up our uh, playing skill. So let's check how this goes. The Ashley Craft Theater. All right, got down to 13%, which is about where we wanna be. Look, we're already up to, there we go. We buried it at 100%. So yeah, I think what we can do is on Pocket Protector, we can pull that out and bring it off, bring in her boy and start working on that now i don't want to bring in a merch manager right now because until we start because it's going to cost us about six hundred dollars a gig i believe we can go in and look this is how you do that you would hire your crew members here and if we want to bring in a merch manager we actually can't get one nobody's available so uh, but you can see it. We can get a drum tech, $152 a gig, uh, keyboard tech, $155, $156, stage lighting, uh, pyrotechnics you won't worry about till later when you're doing because those are only available for arena shows and they cost, and the, just the pyros cost $20,000 uh, per show. So that's on top of your crew cost. So yeah, we don't worry about that too much. All right, we're still, you know, we're still struggling for money, but it is what it is. All right, let's go to the map. We'll head to Athens for our next gig. And we have a show today. 
And you notice we get the little highlight up on the uh, feng shui uh, yin yang uh, icon up there. And that tells me that there's been a change. So that's just because we're in Georgia. Uh, but you can see anything else that's changed as well. All right, let's go ahead and get into the skinny button. We've got an eight reputation here. Hey, how's it going? Allison, you have bass strings, right? Let's just check everybody. Uh, we do have seven. Right, she's got three sets, although one's about to wear out. So we'll have to buy her some soon. And she's got six sets of sticks. Uh, we will need to probably get her uh, some drum heads here real soon. Everybody else is doing all right. Let's go ahead and play the gig. Sort by attitude. So we are only playing one, but again, you can see how many of our songs are negative attitudes right now. This is just why you have to build up, um, build up those, uh, your songs. And I appear, there we go. All right, I think that's gonna be the thing to do. Frostbite, I only need one yellow, so that's good. All right, let's play that. Should be a pretty positive set. Hopefully we can, we'll get over 90%. Uh, anything over 90, they usually have a very, very good reaction to your set, and we're not gonna. We're gonna be at 72 here. Um, extremely happy, so still a good gig. We sold out of our shirt, so I need to buy some more of those. Uh, another thing, once you buy a merch man, merchandise uh, manager for your crew, he does all the buying for you so you don't ever have to buy shirts again. Uh, it'll just automatically replenish. Same thing if you get a guitar tech or a bass tech or a drum tech, they buy your sticks and everything else. So it's really nice. Um, now, I'm not sure about... Um, I'm not sure about cymbals and drum heads. I don't remember. It just seems I've been on tour. Uh, I just started a world tour, uh, and I just finished the American leg. So I did three or four, uh, three or four sets of tours, crisscrossing the United States. And um, I don't remember ever having to buy that. Now it could be because I bought like maybe ten of them, ten of each. I don't know. All right, so we're going to add in frostbite here. Observation point. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and add her boy in here and see what happens. Again, it's not going to drain the audience interest. It just won't do anything to help out. But, you know, you never know. And we can start seeing if it gets any reaction. That's good. And there we are. We're up to 99, 100% before we get to the next to last song. So that's good. And I forgot to buy shirts, didn't I? Why didn't you guys remind me? God, I need somebody to hold my hand here. He was. Um, so her boy actually got three, three fit smiley faces. So they actually like it. We just need to develop the ability and if we look at the song list now you see we gained four playing skill just from playing it so that's something else you can do is when you're on a long tour mix in some of your secondary songs because you will lose your playing skill if you don't play them and you might need them at another point on the tour in another part of the country or if you cross the border or you, you never know so you know instead of waiting till these are down in the 40s or 60s when they get down to 90 85 maybe throw it in your set for a couple of nights and then swap it back out uh let's see so we are now heading to tuscaloosa and i tell you what we're at 24 minutes so let me pause the recording here I'm going to finish out this le this tour, this two-week tour. Uh, I'll come back for this uh, finale in Charlotte, uh, and then we'll go back home and we'll see what we can do. I do need to get a hotel to write these songs, and I need to go buy T-shirts. So let me go do that. I will see you guys back here when we get to Charlotte in just a second.
All right, we are back for the finale of our two week run here in Charlotte. We're going to be at the Boiling Relation. You can see we've made it through all the other shows. Most of them have been in the 85, 80, 82 to 85 range plus up into the 90s. So very pretty good responses. Uh, we've actually started selling some merch. So just to give you guys some input uh, from what I've found asking questions. Um, let me pull out my notebook here so I can make sure I tell you guys the right thing. Uh, T-shirts, twelve dollars. So this uh, this is once you've gotten past the battle of the band stage. So once you're once you're done with your battles uh, and you're over the three point nine nine mark, uh, make a note of that because I want to tell y'all something about that. Uh, anyway, once you're past the ba battles uh, and you're into the fours, uh, T-shirts sell for twelve bucks all the time uh your albums uh singles sell for five dollars and your album starts off at fifteen dollars and then you go down one to two dollars as time passes until you get to ten dollars and then leave it at ten dollars um so eventually as we have more singles in here they'll all be five bucks uh albums will be ten dollars for old ones uh like $12 for the last album that we did prior to whatever our current album is. Uh, and then whatever the current album is that we've got out on release, even if it's older is $15, unless you see it just kind of drop off the cliff. Um, but there are ebbs and flows uh, in your albums. Now we don't have anything in the album chart. Uh, it'll actually show all your albums. So like uh, in my current playthrough, I finally had my first album crack the top 100. We debuted at number 97 and we got as high as I think 92 or 93 before we fell out of the top 100. And so at the bottom here, I have uh, four albums so like one is like 113 right now, and then the other ones are like 731, 732, and 733. Uh, so uh, anyway, just a heads up on that. Um, damn it, there was something I just said to remember and I forgot because I'm dumb. Dumb. Um, T-shirts, singles, T-shirt designs, album charts. Remember, sorry, oops, oops, demonetization. <laughs> uh, anyway, taking a look at our quality songs, uh, you can see we've written another song called Control, uh, Frostbite's up there, and Her Boy. We've been playing it in shows, so it's up to 41 right now. Uh, Teddy's an older song, but still up there. So we're getting a collection of songs up here in the 60s that are now positive attitude going to keep writing them. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, one other thing, uh, look, taking a look at the map, eh, it's not showing here. Um, here we go. Uh, so when we left Columbus on our way to Augusta, we had this day off Well, passing, passing from Columbus to Augusta, we actually go through Macon where we live. So I stopped in and spent the night at our house. Uh, we, did uh we did repairs sold some of the instruments we bought while we were on the road and bought some new instruments to repair and sell and then uh also did our idea combinations and wrote one of the songs at our house and then after this since this is the last show we'll get back in we'll go back to our home studio and we'll go ahead and practice all of our songs get them all up to a hundred uh, maybe filter out some of the lower quality songs here that we don't need anymore. Uh, and then I will probably go back out on another tour because again, we don't have enough songs uh, to, to really record the rest of our stuff. Now, what I could do is I think everything in the 60s I want to do at this 70 level because those are going to be the songs I want to put on the album. So basically we would have 
from I Appear the Pocket Protector all the way up. Those would be the songs. And I've got four more to record, which recording at the highest level is going to cost me between twenty and $25,000. Uh, it's going to take me a little while to raise that kind of money. So I think what we're going to do... I think what we're going to do, so if you take a look at this tour, I was only taking one night off a week. So the rule of thumb is if you want to make money, if you're going out for money, you basically play every night, you know, or, you know, take a, take one or two nights off a week. That will generate the most money. On the flip side, if you're trying to get inspiration and ideas to write new songs, then you only want to tour like four nights a week and you want to have uh, two day gaps at least uh, to, to rest up because we're staying in the hotel, in, in a hotel, not a motel, uh, and sleeping, not writing. Uh, you can write one night, rest one night, but having nights off consecutively uh, or multiple nights in a week will help you gain the most inspiration. So a nice thing to do is um, one of the things that I do, in fact, let's go ahead and see if we can set another tour because I really need the money, but I'd like to get some inspiration as well. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So our last show is tonight. So let's go to our manager and let's ask him to book a tour and let's start in... Uh, Start in Beaumont. And I want to tour Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. So that's four nights a week. And that's three nights we'll be in hotels. Now that should generate, and, and you could do it however you want it. I like to take a Friday or Saturday off. So when we get to a town, we can actually attend a show in a venue and and then gain reputation with the venue and with those bands as well. And, you know, then you're killing two birds with one stone. That's just kind of my feeling. Uh, you have to be a week out, so we'll start. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. November 21st. And we'll end on the 5th. Uh, you know what? Let's go to the 12th. We'll do three weeks. I'm not going to limit it anywhere. And basically looking for whoever has the highest. So we've got a couple of bands. Let's go with the Fat Womans. And um, we'll call this the Texas Two-Step Tour 2006. And we'll assign that task. I don't know if there's a big difference, but the higher the reputation of the band you tour with, the more fans that will come to the gigs, and then the more chance for you to sell the t-shirts and get them converted to being a fan of your band. So he's working on that. So that's how you do a tour. I don't know if I showed you that or not. And we're all the way on the other side of Charlotte. It's a pretty big city. Pretty city, too. The Queen City. Let's get up to it. Oh, um, yes. While I am right here, because we're still up and coming, and I was forgetting to do this earlier in the video, wasn't I? I was forgetting to do our daily job to just get that experience and money. So I just gave, gave that away. So that wasn't real smart. And, you know, that's, uh, you know, 300 bucks a day or a week is $2,100. That's uh, a good chunk of change in the early going here. So don't forget to do that like I did. All right. No reputation here. It's a boiling relation. So she's like, who the hell are you guys? Oh, we're, we're here for the show, man. We're here for the show. All right. We have not been here before in North Carolina. So we've crossed over a border. To another state so let's check our interest levels here 
And you can see we've got a lot more positives coming in. A lot of them are done well. Uh, one thing I did here, and I don't normally do this uh, in a not, in actually I don't do this at all because usually I only have one uh, old song, and I'd really rather not. Oh, you know what? I can actually take that out. Um, but it was green. They were both green. So let's see. I'm gonna take Joyce out. We'll move he mumbles up here. And I want the observation point back since it's now a neutral. That ought to help us out. And start the gig. So final show. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to kind of play ahead a little bit. Try to get through that next tour. And I really want to get to the... You know what? We'll, we'll go ahead and do it here right after this. All right, so we got to 100% audience interest level. They went crazy. Sellout show. Uh, we had 148 out of the 600 fans, and you can see we sold 43 shirts. So our two singles sold one each. The 43 shirts brought in $500, which is double what we made for the gig. So again, once you get over past your battle of the bands where you don't have to get the fan interest so quick, start selling them and that can start helping make a lot of money. All right, finish the tour. We've got a couple of level ups, so let's do our character Murrin. Well, we want our, we want Murrin to be our main uh, stage presence. So we'll do two there. We'll tack one more into writing music and two into playing. And then Joyce, I wanna give her one into business. Give her two into business. I want to start building that up. And uh, let's give two into presence and one into playing. And I am paying attention to what the gear gives. So in my playthrough, I'm, I'm trying to get everybody maxed in playing stage presence and, uh, well, repairs, needless to say, but playing stage presence and then what it, either music or lyrics. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that in this one. We'll see. I do know stage presence is pretty important because in my first playthrough, my first longer playthrough, I had one person maxed out and everybody else was low. So I think we want to get everybody to at least 50 in that plus plus bonuses on top of that. So I'm, I'm shooting for 50 in playing, 50 in pre stage presence, and then a hundred in their primary category, and then going into whatever their second category is. And then I'll continue to build playing and stage presence with a point or two every level. But like for Joyce, we're gonna work on her business now, probably two points per level, uh, because that gets us uh, discounts on all kind of stuff. And that could pay off. This is one of those things we talked about in the first episode where if Joyce ever becomes an issue, like she doesn't like Allison very much right now, but if it was like really bad, then that would be a person that maybe we fire and then hire someone else that has anything but repair. Because then we've got four people that are already maxed out and then we can build up the repair for that one person by having them do all the repairs first and then, you know, level up in a different category. So maybe get rid of Joyce and actually hire someone that's really good at business or, you know, really good at mu lyrics or music, another person. Um, so there's different ways you could do it. If you do fire somebody, you got to watch out because what's going to happen is your playing skill gets wiped out like to almost nothing. So don't do that if you have a tour coming up. Like we just asked our manager to book a tour, not the time to fire somebody. But if we weren't starting that tour and we had just finished this tour, now would be the time to fire them, hire somebody else, and then spend a couple of weeks training, you know, practicing songs and working on leveling them up. Uh, the other thing is, you remember at the very beginning, you know, we had people that wouldn't play with us because of our 
level. Well, now we're a higher level, so we'll actually have different um, potential band members. But from what I've read on the Discord, not a good idea to fire people. And your manager will come out every once in a while and say, hey, um, I want you to fire this this person from the band. Uh, don't listen to them. You lose a little bit of trust in your manager, but that's you know not as bad as the... Oh, there we go. All right. Uh, not as bad as uh, losing all the playing. So we've got our tour booked here. I'm going to go do that off camera. Um, I'll continue to work on the daily jobs, uh, buying and repairing and selling instruments to build up our band cash and keep personal cash levels up. Now, again, once we start making money, like in my long, in my save, I'm up to about $5 million. Um, I've, gone over and I've started in Europe. Um, I've already broke kind of big in the U S you know, we're, we were up to about two and a half million. Uh, and I, I had an interest level of about, a, uh, a, not an interest level, a, um, popularity of about 11. So I went over to Europe and it was like 0.23. So we didn't have any popularity in the UK. Um, and it, you know, so th that's just what it is. Um, so we had to start, even though we were a hundred rating in all these categories and we had songs that were a hundred ability and a hundred, uh, playing ability, um, it, we were nobodies. We were nobodies and we were opening up for people with, you know, like, like four popularity in the UK and we were playing this 50 and 70 seat clubs again, but because that was our popularity, we were able to go in and do the battle of the bands, but you still had to do the same thing. Even with our great, you know, playing a hundred playing ability for everybody and a hundred stage presence, we were still losing the performance rating, which I found ridiculous, but that is what it is. So anyway, a lot of stuff there at the end. Um, but uh, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I did get a comment from someone the other day uh, saying that they appreciated the tips. Hey, I appreciate you checking the video out. And uh, any questions, let me know if there's anything you want to see uh, in the game. If there's anything about this band that you want to see, let me know. I do need to go into Atlanta and change some of the sites. I will do that off camera here in just a second. And that way, next time we go to Atlanta, that is, uh, that is done for you guys. Have a good one. Take care. Keep rocking. Bye.